This one's right here. So fourth row, three D. You're right there, but this is the thing. How far in the D block do you go? One, two, three, four, five, six. So you should so show six electrons. You're only showing three. Okay, so I need to fill this one. Oops, erase it. Because a hundred rule. Okay, you still have two empty orbitals. Those will get one first. Okay. Yep. And it gives you six, you're done. Okay. Is it fine if I separate my columns? Yeah, that's fine as long as you're labeling in the middle. I'm okay with that. Whenever you get to college, though, ask your professor to make sure they don't get ticked off. Yeah. Sure not once you catch it. While you guys are still working on this, just a friendly reminder. Tomorrow you have a lab. Please listen. Huh? No, we had okay. that quiz last so week. So now you got sort of on the quiz quiz? Mm -hmm. Three feet. No. And then you got yeah. four. And then you got three days because it comes up in the middle. We look at Friday first. As of right now, yes, you're having a quiz next Friday. Okay. Okay. It will be on everything that I've taught you because it's all fair game. Do you know if we're doing um, evening classes first? Because they usually switch at 1 a.m. With this, guys, if you haven't picked up on a pattern yet, this is what I do with my quizzes. I literally, whatever I've taught you is what the majority of that's on. Now, I still involve a couple things that's from behind. Like on your last quiz you took, you had a hidden metric conversion you had to make. Mm -hmm. If you didn't do the conversion, you couldn't get the answer right. Mm -hmm. Micro. No, no, the answer was like five billion but with it, that's the thing. Now, I will tell you, whenever we start getting the stuff that's going to matter, I'll bring stuff back in to force you to study back up on it. Alright, if you're still working, keep working with this, but I want to start getting started on it because my goal is I want to at least introduce electron configuration today. I want to see if you're getting these right. You will. But it'll be like later on. Like I'm not like it'll all be together. So this is just the orbital mean rotation, right? Yep. We still got electron configuration. Does all that go together? It's all together. So we use the data from this to go to electron configuration. Yeah. You guys will like uh, the electron configurations more, and then noble gas will be your favorite. Are they harder than this or easier than this? Easier. Well, this is pretty easy. Alright, I want you to take a moment. I keep forgetting to subtract the one. Look at iron. I want to see if you got it right. Key with iron is what I just got Caitlin with. When you get to D, remember you take the row minus one. Iron is in the fourth row, so four minus one is three. So it's three D. But then in that, make sure you count how many over in the D block you are. You go six over. So you have to show six electrons in the D block in three D. So one, two, three, four, five.
you're checking it, keep checking it. But if you if you have a question, interrupt me and ask me. How did I figure this out? I went to my periodic table. I mark where I stop at. <coughs> In this, I stop at iron. So there's my stopping point. So there's a stopping point in iron. So I go all the way through till iron. So where am I stopping? I'm in the D block. So I stop at D, but what row am I in? 3D because I'm in the fourth row, it's the D box, so you subtract 1 from the row to get the number. So you get 3. So I'm in 3D. How far over in there did I go? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'll have to show 6 electrons. And then in this, everything else is full. Oh, there it is. <laughs> So in this, I go through first row, S block, which is 1S, second row, S block, 2S, second row, P block, 2P, third row, S block, 3P, third row, P block, 3P, fourth row, S block, 4S, then we go to the D block. You've already determined it's 3D and you go six over and you stop here that's where we get what we got on the board which is why I write one is the full, two is full two P is full, three S is full, three P is full, four S is full, three D is not full so I stop Please make sure you do this and you do not end up doing this. That's wrong. That breaks Hun's rule. You cannot do that. Make sure you have what's on top. Guys, I'm begging. Yes. I have a question. Yes, please. You know how we have to go up a row for this thing? Why, why is that? Why can't it just... Why is it not 4D? Yeah. Because it's energy. It's state of energy with, within it. But you guys are going to find out later on. You're not going to know it right now. But the thing with this is, is we're all concerned with something that's called the octet rule, which all elements are looking to get eight electrons in their outer energy shell. So if you look at it, Four is the outer energy shell for iron because that's the highest one. It'll always go 4s, 3d, 
then it drops, then it goes back up to four feet. I know it's a. I don't, I'm not, I don't care about you getting that right now. I don't. I don't, I don't care about, about that. I care about you getting this. Okay. Guys, I'm begging you, if you are not understanding this, please come see me. Please drop your pride. If you come in this room and you got no idea what's going on, drop your pride at the door. This is the quiz that I promise you, you can get an A on. If you will just come in and ask questions, if you will let your pride go, if you'll come in and ask questions, this is the quiz that can raise your grade. This is the quiz that next week can start your second nine weeks off right. All right? Are you not Huh? Are you not starting back at zero? I shouldn't. Okay. I don't think that's how my library is set up. Everything's based off points for me. You, you're still going. Yeah. Can we still bring in pans? Yeah, you can still bring them in. I just won't go on the report cards. Are you going to put them in for bar yesterday? Uh, yeah, I put them in. If you brought them yesterday, I put them in. You didn't put them in. See, I told you, he said it. It's his fault. I apologize. Okay. Going from here, going to calcium. See if you guys can get it. Yes and no. You will end up doing that, but that's after I give you the quantum numbers. The whole purpose of this is where are these electrons? They're all full. You should have every one of them full. Calcium stopped. It went all the way through the 4S. I stopped on the calcium. your mistakes. Is there questions? If you're asking somebody around you, I'm fine with that. But if you got questions, and you're not asking somebody, please ask now. Also, please don't do me a favor. Just don't write this down and say, okay, I'm going to look at this later and get this. No, this is the time. I'm going slow for a reason. This is the time to ask questions. No, I gave that to you uh, so that you could. I don't like the, as my wife calls it now, the old Christmas tree method. I like the periodic table, but if the Christmas tree works for you, use it. That's why I still give it, because it does work for some kids. How I think is not how you all think. You all think. That's why we get little sayings like whack-a-mole and guacamole and avocado and all sorts of other stuff. Will we be getting a new period or paper study or can we use I will give you a new one. This is the one that I gave you. This is the periodic table that will be on your quizzes for now on. These are the ones you'll use. Alright, let's do chlorine. There's chlorine. Questions on chlorine.
I'm really praying that I do good on this next week. He's really good with someone that's like, can we do a hard one like? No, no, both or with no, no, no. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a really hard one. He's gonna give us like one of two. All right. If you feel like you got a grasp of this and you know what's going on, I want you to raise your hand. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, put your hands down. Because now you're to the level where you can practice one of those. There's no point in jumping down at the very bottom and do this big long process and all y'all have no idea what's going on. Okay, the only question I have is uh, a better time. Never mind. I'm sorry. After I was looking at it, I was like, this is going to be the dumbest question. <laughs> okay. This will be the last orbital notation that we do, and you're going to find out why. Is this going to be long? It is. Because there is nothing as good as America. If you do one or two, why do you need my notes? All right, in this. Let's do American, I'll number do 95. 95. I want you to give this a shot on your own. Actually, scientists at Berkeley, California. How do they just make an element? Can I make an element? Well, the truth of it is, is how they do it is they look at it and they take other elements and they smash them into other elements. So what is these? What is this one? Like, what is in this one? How do we use it? Do we like use this every day? Uh, no. It's it's so radioactive it doesn't even have a half. Like, it's it's half-life is so short, we can't even get an accurate uh, atomic mass for it. Any one of those that's in parentheses yeah. like that, we don't have an atomic mass for it. Scary, don't you find? They're in solitary confinement for a reason, okay? <laughs> <laughs> when I've done bad things. <laughs> so, if we have to go all the way through the D block, it ain't going to be fun. What do you mean, all the way through the D block? Like, you're literally going like, all the way through. Like, no, nope, you won't cover the whole D block. If it's down here? No, because you will not cover the whole D block. Because it's down here. Which pier I have we used? You're using the wrong one. You're using the whole day block. You want? Hey, look at the bottom. You go 5F. You want to go 6D. I'm saying that much. Where's A in there? Hey, guys, please make sure that you're using this periodic table. This is why I gave you this one. If you do not have this periodic table, come get one. This, peri this is the reason we're using this periodic table is because in here, there's 14 columns in the F block. In the other one, there's 15. Then everyone's like, oh God, what do I do? And I'm like, you do nothing but use this periodic table. I beg you, please try this. D is five, not one. Yeah. D is five. You are here yesterday, where you live. It's not bad, I promise you. Once you get it, you get it. Christmas tree. Okay. No, that's fine. Like, I never write down the Christmas tree. I literally 
periodic table. To be honest with you, I've done these so long, I don't even use a periodic table. Like, I literally, I just got it to memory. This is where I'm messing up. So, on the app, you should it's type two. Goes here. Yeah. Does that go automatically down here? Yeah, once it goes here, look at the numbers. The numbers are the key. You see where it says 57? That's the second reason I picked this one. So, so you go here in 57, you go all the way through it. So would that be six? It's the sixth row. That'd be five. It's F, you subtract two. Right, That's the row. We subtract on this one. Mm-hmm. Yep. Alright, while you're doing it, just thanks so long, I'm gonna roll through it. So I gotta do it again, right? Yeah, that's good. So I still have like another. Piece. Yeah, because you're gonna go from there, then you're gonna go back to the D, then you go through the P, then you go back to the S, and then you go back to the F. Wow. Just follow the table. Okay. Follow the numbers. So like at the end of that, you can end at seventy, then you're gonna go seventy-one. Where's seventy-one? I was doing more than I needed to. This is the one that like you understand now why I waited this long for these. I hate it. They're forever and a day long. You gonna put one like this on the page? Uh it's a possibility. This would be worth a lot of points. <laughs> <laughs> Every little one of them has a checkmark. <laughs> I look for certain things, to be honest with you. Like, you have to have the field word right. Not only do you have to have the field word right, you have to show spin. So if you put arrows, if both of your arrows are up or both arrows are down, 
You're not showing spin, so that's wrong. What does the spin like indicate? Like the fourth quantum number is the spin quantum number. So two electrons can be inside of an orbital, but within it they have to spin in opposite directions to create an electromagnetic oh, attractive force. Okay. And then the other thing you have to do is you have to show Hun's rule. And that's the one thing I get kids with all the time because right here, I gave you this one on purpose. If you do not do this, you are wrong. There should be no down arrows in 5F. If you have down arrows, you are wrong. You broke Hun's rule. Because every one of these is an orbital of equal energy level, and every one of them will receive one electron before they receive a second one. Okay. Depends what you got wrong. Like fill water? Fill water, that's going to be made of points on. It's important. Alright, in this, check this, see if you have questions. While you're checking it, understand. What type of configuration is this? Orbital notation. The orbital notation is the dashes and the arrows. That's the easiest way for me to explain it to you. So dashes and arrows is orbital notation. Any questions on orbital notation? Are you ready to move on to the easier stuff? Yeah. I thought this was easier. It gets easier than this. Wow. The next one is based solely off can you count. Sometimes that That's it. <laughs> this is the key though. You need to be able to determine the difference in the three. Okay? Because this is totally different than this one. Any questions here on America? America. I bet that's Trump's favorite element. <laughs> Once. Twice. Are you guys feeling good about all this? Yeah. Good. That sounds up with these names. Scientists. Oh, those were, there was a scientist that said there was more elements that existed, and he was from, uh, he was hired at Berkeley, California, and while there, everyone was telling him, no, there isn't, so then he proved it, and he created a whole bunch of those elements. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, yes, all the ones that end with No. No. <laughs> He created a whole bunch of them. He created Einsteinium, Pelletarium, Berkeley, and All right, from here, I want to go to the electron configuration now. Can we just count the orbital thing? Nope. Most of them are just named after Electron size. configuration switches. The arrows and dashed orbitals for numbers like exponents. They are not exponents. Is that first print? So you see the arrows? Yeah. All right, so in this, I'll give you an example. Um, just for the fun of it, I'm going to do one you've already done. Let's do. 
Cora. Or Corey. Now, is this one whole process, like all one through three, or is it going to be broken into sections like number one, then the orbital notation on this, and then number two, then that electron? Okay. Yeah, I will ask you for what I want. That's okay. the key that you need to be able to tell the difference between them. Are you ready for this? I'm going to show you how simplistic this is. You are not ready. Some of y'all might cry tears of joy today. It's probably just the numbers. It's probably just the same Here we go. Here's what you do. You do what you did before. On the periodic table, you find your stopping point. So where are we stopping? Chlorine, number 17. Here's chlorine. Mark down where it stops at. So I'm in the third row, which block? So it means it's 3P. How far in did I go? One, two, three, four, five. The number you get for however far you went you put that as if it's an exponent after the P. Oh, wow. Is that all? Now, that is not all. That's your stopping point. Everything else, you went through. And we're still going to write it as if it was an exponent in there. But we stop here. So this is what I'm saying. Go back to the board. We went all the way. This is how I do it. I mark down my stopping point, 3P5. And then I start going. I went through 1S all the way through it, so it's 1S2. You do not read that 1S squared. That's 1S2. Then from there we go to 2S2. Then we go to 2P. How many is in the P? How many electrons? Not orientations, how many electrons? Six. There's three orientations in there, but every one of them, every one of those orientations represents an orbital that hold two electrons. Then after that, we go 3s2, then we go 3p, stop. That's where we're stopping point is. What do we determine was the end? Five. Five. Done. So what's D and F? What's the number straight? Like D6. So what's D if you go all the way through D is 10. F if you go all the way through F is 14. Remember, every one of those boxes on the periodic table can represent for you an electron. Y'all want to see noble gas? It makes it even simpler. Alright, so in this, we got chlorine, let's do, let's do copper, 29. Give it a shot. No, you're doing the actual electron configuration.
Let's just see. You're fine. So it would be three. You look sick. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, I was thinking while I was looking up, I was asking that question. So yeah. You're fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and go ahead and is like is that all the ones of this we're gonna do? Like for that's that's it. Yeah, I feel like y'all got okay. I wanna give you noble gas, okay? Noble gas makes life a lot simpler. Noble gas will change your starting point to the last noble gas, and the noble gases are the 18th column. It's the last column on the periodic table. That was crossed. So this is how you do it. For it, I'm going to give you copper, which is 29, which you just did. Makes your life even simpler. It's a shortcut. This is how you do it. You go to your periodic table, put your finger on the element that you're trying to get the noble gas configuration for. So I'm going to copper. Go up a row and go all the way to the 18th column. You get argon. This is what you'll do. Back to the board. Y'all ready for how simple this one is? The key to it is is you change the starting point. You're no longer starting at hydrogen. You're now starting from that noble gas. You put it in brackets, but it's square brackets. If you put it in parentheses, you're wrong. It has to be a square bracket. You put the chemical symbol. So argon. Realize, I taught you, first, L, first letter of a symbol is always capital. The second one is always lowercase. If you put capital R, you are wrong. It should be capital A, little r. You've now changed the starting point. You're no longer starting a hydrogen. So you've already ran all the way through till argon. Go after argon. What comes after argon? It ended at 3P6. 4S2. 4S2. And 3D. Oh, it's copper, 3D9. This is what this does. If you look at argon... I have a question. What? So, do we subtract... I thought D was 10. Do we subtract 1 from the 9, like the D? How far is copper into the D block? Oh, no. Never mind. That's I'm all right, here's the thing. This right here is the electron configuration for argon, and there's the electron configuration for copper. All the noble gas does is cut it off. This is equal. So it allows us to take that noble gas and substitute it in and leave whatever is left off. What time was that gold or something? So if you're at gold, put your finger on gold. Okay. Go up a row. Go all the way to the end. What do you got? It's X E. So then from there, where do you go? What's the next thing? After you put the Z on in brackets. 6S2, 4F, 14, and then we go 5D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I get it. Thank you. You're welcome.